Roger Federer inspired by Jimmy Connors, Andre Agassi as veteran chases 100th title in Australia. Moments before Andy Murray learned of his grisly draw at the Australian Open, Roger Federer was waxing lyrical about what keeps him so fresh at 37. The defending champion still looks ridiculously sprightly, his motivation undimmed by any amount of wealth, titles, 99 and counting, fame and adulation. My goal was always to play as long as possible, that's why I'm able to show so much enthusiasm, he reflected. When I see others who have played for a long time, Ken Rosewall, Jimmy Connors, Andre Agassi, it has looked pretty cool, playing through the generations. That I am still inside the top 10 is a little bit surprising to me, but not that I am still playing. Federer also insisted that he has not needed Novak Djokovic, Rafael Nadal and Murray to have pushed him, longevity is just something that has come naturally. Maintaining a successful career into the deep end of the 30s appears, sadly, to be something that Murray is not destined to enjoy. There was a further reminder of this when, several hours before the draw which pitted him against inform no 22 seed Roberto Bautista Murray played the best part of two sets under serious match conditions against Djokovic on the Margaret Court Arena at Melbourne Park. With several thousand spectators allowed in, and replete with an umpire, line judges and a scoreboard, they played out their allotted practice time after an elongated warm-up, with the score ending up at 6-1, 4-1 to the Serp. Safe to say it was not among their greatest battles, which have included four Australian finals in the neighbouring Rod Laver Arena. Although both were keen to replicate match conditions, there was the sense that World No. 1 Jakarik never needed to reach for his highest gear. The enthusiastic crowd saw the increasingly familiar mix of the 31-year-old Scott moving awkwardly between points but looking better when actually forced to run. Murray's serve was picked off at will by the greatest returner of all and he only held it once, when 0-3 down in the second set. At times there was some impressive scampering around the back of the court but he could not exert pressure on his one-time great rival. A feeling of melancholy hung in the air. Afterwards Murray had an animated conversation with his support team, waving his arms around like a traffic cop, and was clearly unhappy. It does not augur well for this fortnight and probably beyond, and his mood is unlikely to have been improved by the draw. In common with the five other British singles players there was little in the way of good fortune. Murray and last year's surprise semi-finalist Kyle Edmund have been drawn against the two players who contested last week's final of the ATP Qatar Open, Bautista Agut and Thomas Burdich. Murray's depressed ranking of 230 meant that he was at the mercy of the draw. It was conducted here, as ever in curious fashion with snatched glimpses of it being made behind the scenes and then revealed by a salivating panel of TV pundits. At least this year they did not do anything so crass as last time when Maria Sharapova, returning from disgrace, was given the red carpet treatment. When the big reveal came Murray was pitted against Spaniard Bautista Agut, who beat Djokovic on his way to the title in Qatar. Murray has not dropped a set to him in three meetings but that was before his chronic hip condition set in. Edmund comes here with the pressure of a huge ranking points haul to defend from last year, but his 13th seeding turned out to offer little protection. He will face arguably the toughest unseeded player in serial top tenor Burdich, who is only down at 57 because he missed half of last season with back problems. Judging by Qatar these are now behind him. Serena Williams, making her first appearance since the controversial U.S. Open final, is up against fellow mother Tatjana Maria, from Germany. The evergreen Federer plays Uzbek Denis Astamin, while Nadal faces Australian wildcard James Duckworth. World No. 1 Jakarik will play a qualifier.